Hi, I'm Coach Jeff, bringing you another metamorphic method to help you evolve. Today's method is a full body dynamic flow routine. What that dynamic flow means is that we're going to learn two exercises and then we're going to put that together into a third exercise that combines both of them. Each exercise we go through today will be about 30 seconds. We're going to start right with a warm up here with our 90 90 shoulder rotations. So we've got the chest up tall, arms up at 180 degrees, elbows bent at 90 degrees. We flex up, squeeze back, and down with control. Let's go ahead and continue through for 30 seconds of work. Big deep breaths as we go through. Bringing that wrist up, just a little bit behind the elbow, squeezing the upper back, feeling the rotator cuff work as we continue back and forth. Big deep breaths. Just feel those shoulders get a little fiery here. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and last rep there. All right, right from the 90-90 shoulder rotations, we're gonna go into a high knee with thoracic rotation. So I'm gonna step, bringing my knee up, twist, and then we're gonna switch. Alternating back and forth, chest up nice and tall, go ahead and begin if you haven't. So we bring the left leg up, Balance, twist to the left, and switching. Again, alternating back and forth. Make sure you catch that balance, squeezing the leg you're standing on. Keep the core nice and tight, belly button is up and in, and you're feeling that fire start. Here we go, 10 more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, all right. Now we're gonna go ahead and take those two movements and we're gonna put them together. So we go back into that 90-90 flex and we take that into the high knee and twist. Alternating back and forth, pausing for just a second at the top as we go through. Really feel those shoulder blades, the rotator cuff, begin to work. Keep that belly button up and in, feel the abs start to turn on. Here we go, 10 more seconds. Alternating back and forth. Five, four, three, two, excellent. All right, we got two more exercises we're gonna do through the warm up. This next one, we're gonna go into a half seal jack. So we bring the arms up in front, arms are very tight, opening wide, feeling a little bit of stretch in your chest, feeling the upper back work. Big deep breaths as we go through. 30 seconds total. Got about 20 seconds left. So keep those arms very tight. Keep the core tight. Legs are grounded. Big deep breaths. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, we're gonna go back into a lateral step. This time we're gonna add a little hamstring curl. So we step. Kick the leg back, squeezing the hamstring as we try to bring the ankle up to the glute, and switch. I'm just gonna give you a different angle on this. So we step to the side, up, kick, squeeze. Step, kick, squeeze. Here we go, 30 seconds. Go ahead and begin if you haven't. Keep those toes flexed up. Keep your posture nice and tall. So you're feeling that hamstring squeeze. Big deep breaths as we continue back and forth. You've got about 10 more seconds. Just a light warm up here, getting the body flowing, getting you used to this dynamic flow, kind of learning a couple exercises and then putting them together. Last couple reps. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put those two movements together. So we're gonna take that seal jack, we're gonna step out, flex the foot behind you, and then we switch. Here we go. Back and forth, 30 seconds of work. Chest up tall. Don't have to rush it. We're gonna focus on quality of movement today. Squeeze that hamstring as you bring the heel up, almost trying to touch the glute with the heel. 12 seconds left. Back and forth, nice wide steps. Here we go, five, four, three, two. Feel that fire start to burn. Now we're gonna get down into our downward dog. We're gonna walk out the downward dog, we're gonna turn it into a mountain climber, and then we're gonna put that all together. So we'll start right with that downward dog. We're gonna go ahead and walk out, 
from the edge of our mat into the plank position. From here, start to arch your lower back as you push your hips up and then drop your heels to the ground. We're going to hold this for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. From here, we're going to come back to center and then we're going to go back into that downward dog. This time, walking each leg out. So I'm going to gently bend my left knee, pushing my right heel down to the ground. Then I'm going to go ahead and gently bend that right knee, pushing the left heel down to the ground. We're going to walk that back and forth, getting three each side. Big deep breaths. Keep those arms long. Hands tight into the ground. Keep driving those heels down as you arch your lower back to feel that nice hamstring stretch. Once you're done with your three each side, we'll go ahead and take that right down. Take a little bit of a breather. Let me show you this mountain climber. So for this, the hands are going to be a little more narrow. Belly button up and in. When we start that plank position, we're going to pull the knee in. Hold one, two, and switch. Hold one, two, and switch. Go ahead and begin for 30 seconds. So arms strong into the ground, chin tucked so the neck is nice and long, belly button in, feeling the core work. Don't rush this, this is still part of our warm up. Here we go, about 15 more seconds. Keeping the core nice and tight, keeping those arms long into the ground. Three, two, and done there. Take a little 15 second break if you need it. During that rest though, pay attention. I'm going to show you how we add those two movements together. So we're going to meet in plank position, pushing right into downward dog. We're going to go four walks. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to come down to four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and begin together. 30 seconds. Downward dog, walk it out. One, two, feel those hamstrings stretch. Three, four, down to the plank, tuck the pelvis, belly in, knee in. One, two, three, four, back into the downward dog, send those hips up, send those heels down. Bend one leg, feel the stretch on the opposite side, and switch. Three, four. Here we go, back in a mountain climber. Pull it in. One, two, Three, four, and let's get through that sequence one more time. Back into that downward dog, walk it out. One, two, three, four. Feel the shoulders, triceps start to warm up. Here we go, belly in, walk it, mountain climber. One, two, three, and four. All right, we're gonna go ahead and come up off the ground. We're gonna get into some leg work. We're gonna begin with some squats. Then we're gonna to move to the lunge, and then I'm gonna show you how to put those two movements together. So 30 seconds of squats. Feet are wide, weights on the outside of the feet with the toes pointed out. Arms are out as counterweight. We go hips back, knees out to go down. Up hard with control. Go ahead and begin. 30 seconds. Make sure you're pushing your feet into the ground hard, forcing yourself up. Whenever you get comfortable with a movement, it's usually a good idea to add some velocity to it or add some force. Give yourself a little extra calorie burn. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. All right. Now I'm going to turn off to my right side, turning this movement right into a static lunge. So I've got that left heel high. I'm going to drop that left knee down. Weight goes into the front heel, in this case my right heel, and we stand up to center. Ready? 30 seconds and begin. So make sure as you're dropping down and forward, you're keeping the weight in that right heel, right glute. Don't overshoot that knee. Make sure that knee does not pop too far forward. Big deep breaths. You've got about 10 more seconds on this side. Here we go, five, four, three, two, last wrap. All right, now we're just going to turn off to the other side. So I'm facing to the left. I get that left foot forward, right leg back, right heel up. We're going to drop that right knee down to the ground, weighting the left heel, and up. Go ahead and begin. 30 seconds of work. Again, always dropping the weight into the forward heel. 
That way we can engage the glute and the hamstring as well as the quad during this lunge. Maintain that tall posture, chin up nice and tall. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and shake those legs out. You take about a 15 second break, or begin early as I show you how to put those two movements together. So we're gonna begin in that squat position, coming up, turn off to the right, lunge on that right side, back to squat, boom, turn to the left, lunge on the left side, 30 seconds, here we go. Go your own pace, or try to keep up here with me. Squat, turn, lunge, turn, squat, turn, lunge, continue through. Let's bang it out, crew. Feel those legs burn. Halfway through this, got about 15 seconds left. Remember to keep the weight in the heels during that squat. Keep the weight in the front heel during those lunges. Let's get through the sequence one more time. Squat, turn. Squat, last one. Turn. Woo, shake it up. We're gonna go ahead and give those legs a break now. Coming right back onto the ground. Once you're down on the ground, get into the tabletop position. So hands are right underneath the shoulders, knees are right underneath your hips, toes are tucked. We're gonna go into a bear plank. So we're gonna pull the knees off the ground, about an inch, keeping the shins pretty much parallel with the ground, belly button in, holding for 30 seconds. Let's begin together, ready? And go. So knees up, arms are tight in the ground, palm the ground with your hands, pull the belly button into the spine, and squeeze those legs nice and tight. A little more than halfway here. We've got about 10 seconds left. You should feel the quads getting nice and fiery. You should feel those arms starting to really work. Four, three, two, and let's go ahead and bring that down. All right, from this, we're gonna go right into a shoulder tap. So we extend the plank out. We're gonna put the feet wide, legs are straight, arms are narrow. We're gonna come up, touching right hand and left shoulder, and switch. Ready, 30 seconds on the clock, and begin, here we go. Go back and forth at your own pace. Keep those legs tight. Don't let them shift back and forth. We're activating the deepest layer of the muscle in the core here. It's called your transverse abdominis. This kicks on as we go through this anti-flexion, trying to really not turn the hips. 10 seconds left. Keep it going back and forth at your own pace. Five, four, three, two, and done there. All right, for the third part of this circuit, I'm gonna show you how to put those two exercises together. So we've got that bear plank and then those shoulder taps. All right, so we're in this bear crawl position or the bear plank position with the knees up, opposite, hand to shoulder. Walk it back into a plank and tap. Back into that bear position and tap. Go ahead and begin if you haven't. 30 seconds, here we go. Big deep breaths. Be very deliberate in your movement. Don't get sloppy. Take your time. Soft on your joints as the hands hit the ground and as the feet move back and forth. 10 more seconds. You've got this. Here we go. Embrace that burn. Five, four, three, two, and back to center. Excellent way to pull those two movements together there. All right, we're going to shake it out. We're going to get back up. We're going to test the balance out a little bit. Moving to our single leg. Romanian deadlift. So for that single leg Romanian deadlift, I'm gonna stand tall on my right leg, left leg up. Push those hips back, feel that nice stretch come through the standing hamstring, and we switch. All right, 30 seconds of work, alternating back and forth here. Ready? And begin. So as we bring that opposite leg up, push those hips back, 
Try to bring your torso parallel to the ground. Feel that big stretch and then switch. Continuing back and forth at your own pace. Work on quality of movement. Feeling those hamstrings. Get that nice stretch. About 10 more seconds. A little bonus time on this one. Let's get one more each side. Last one here. All right, now we're gonna take that single leg Romanian deadlift and go right into our RDL position bilaterally. So we're on both legs, slight bend in the knee, so the knee remains over the ankle. Big arch in the lower back, feeling those hamstrings and glutes get weighted. We're gonna go right into a reverse fly from here. So we go up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and down with control. Let's go ahead and begin. 30 seconds of work. Maintain that arch. Maintain the grounding in your legs. Again, feeling the work come through your hamstrings and glutes as you squeeze your feet into the ground. You don't want that work to climb too much in your lower back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together as we bring the arms up into a T position and down with control. Seven, six, five more seconds. Four, three, two, awesome job there. Now we're gonna take those two movements and we're just gonna put them together. So we step out into that single leg RDL. We go into that reverse fly, back up with control, and we switch. Single leg RDL, reverse fly, and back up with control. Let's go ahead and begin that together. 30 seconds of work. Take your time here. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. We do have a little bit of a cardio finisher today. So we'll get that heart rate back up a little later. For now, let's focus on lengthening and strengthening those hamstrings. Step into that RDL, big fly, back up with control. Single leg RDL, big fly, back up with control. Let's go through for about 10 more seconds. And a little bonus time on this one. That way you can focus on quality of movement as we go through. Just gonna get one more on each side. And last one here. And up with control. All right, we're gonna bring the intensity back up here in this next circuit. So we're gonna go down on the ground. We're gonna go from a plank position, walking the legs in and out. So I've got my arms narrow, all right? Start with the feet wide. We're gonna walk this plank in, in, out, out. Ready, and begin. In, in, out, out. 30 seconds of work. If you think about it, try to alternate the leg that you're putting out first. Otherwise, just move right through with control, keeping that core engaged, keeping those legs nice and tight. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and done there. All right, from here we're gonna bring that up into a high, wide mountain climber. So I'm gonna put my feet and my arms nice and wide, belly button up and in, holding that plank position. We're gonna bring one knee around to the elbow, crunching the oblique, and switch. It's gonna begin, 30 seconds. Take your time going through this. Feel the core work. Here we go, halfway. Keep those arms tight, core tight. Feel that burn. Five, four, three, two. Excellent. All right. Now the third part of this is putting those movements together. Let me show you how. Get down right back into that plank position with the feet nice and wide. We're gonna walk in, back out with the legs. We're gonna go up into the plank and into that wide mountain climber. 
Back down into plank. Let's go ahead and begin together. So feet come in, in, out, out, up, up, mountain climber, mountain climber. Down, down, in, in, out, out, up, up, mountain climber, mountain climber. Here we go, you're on your own. Try to keep up or stay at your own pace. Do what you can. Have some fun, break a little bit of sweat, improve your body. We got to do this cycle one more time. Here we go. Finish those mountain climbers and down. All right. A little 15 second rest there or so as we go in to this next part of the routine. So finishing off today's dynamic flow routine, we're gonna hit a cardio finisher. We have three exercises to do. You're each gonna be about 30 seconds with about 15 seconds off. Or if you need more rest, just go ahead and pause the video, right? So we start right with our seal jacks. Feet are together, arms are out. We go up and back in with control. Go ahead and begin, 30 seconds. Once you're comfortable with this movement, try to go as quick as you can. Here we go. Soft knees, working the balls of the feet. Arms stay high, moving fast. Five, four, three, two. All right, about 15 seconds off. Big deep breaths as you shake that out. Just pay attention as I show you the next one. Going right into our squat jack. So from this, we go out, down touch, back up, back into that squat jack. All right, we'll start together, 30 seconds of work. Feet together, ready, and go. Out into those heels, up onto those toes. Make sure again that weight does push into your heels as you drop your butt with your chest up through that squat. Again, as soon as you feel comfortable, Start moving through a little faster. Five, four, three, two. Yeah, you got that. All right, shake it up. Our third exercise, we're gonna go right through our ski jump. So we step off to one side, balancing on the left foot with the right foot behind, up and over, and then switch. Here we go, 30 seconds of work. Ready? And begin. Nice and soft on your landing. As soon as you get comfortable, add a little more vertical or lateral movement. So try to jump higher and further apart. Halfway through, you've got this. Big deep breaths. Four, three, Two, last one. All right, shake that out. About 15 seconds rest here. Now, if you want a low impact modification for this cardio finisher, for the seal jack, just step out, back to center, and then switch. No jump needed there. For the squat jack, simply go into your pause squat, right? Down, pulse, pause, and up with control, down, Pulse, pause, up with control. And for those ski jumps, just hit a lateral balance step, back and forth. Running through each of these twice, 30 seconds each. All right, if you're with me on that more advanced version, here we go, we're gonna restart this, starting with those seal jacks. 30 seconds of work, ready, and begin. Chest up. We're soft on the feet as best you can. Soft knees, moving in and out as fast as you can. Let's do it, 10 seconds left. Let it burn. Three, two, all right, shake it out. 15 seconds, big breather if you need it. If not, I'm gonna start a little early. Squat jack out, back into center. You can start in five, four, three, go ahead and begin. Here we go, 30 seconds of work. Out into those heels, knees go out. Try to drop your butt low enough that you can touch the ground. 
Make sure you're keeping your chest up tall. Staying proud through this movement. You're more than halfway. You got 10 seconds left. Three, two, nice. You should be feeling that burn climbing right through your legs. 15 seconds rest. Moving right into ski jumps next. Now, if you want to begin with me early, you can. Up and over. Otherwise, start in five, four, three, and go ahead. This is the last one we do today. Big push here. 30 seconds of work. Let's do it. Big lateral jump. Try to get up in the air if you can. Or use those modifications if you need them. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Good. All right, shake that out. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Take a couple big deep breaths. And we'll get right into that cool down for today. So going sort of where we started into our downward dog from the edge of your mat, walk yourself out into that plank position, push right into that down dog, heels down, arch your lower back, feel that nice stretch, climb through those hamstrings. Meet back into plank, bringing the right foot forward, right heel down. Hands are inside of that right leg. We're going to lengthen the left leg, untucking the toe. Arch your back and drop your hips. From here, we're going to take a nice long inhale as we exhale into thoracic rotation. So right arm up to the sky until you stack one hand over the other. From here, drop those hips down nice and low. Feel that stretch climb through. Let everything from today kind of unwind. Come back to center. We'll go back into downward dog. Again, feeling that stretch climb through the hamstrings as you arch your lower back or pretend to tip your tail up to the sky as you push the heels down and push your heart toward your knees. Then we're gonna bring that left foot forward Left heel is flat, right knee goes down. We're gonna untuck that right toe as we lengthen the right leg, dropping those hips, arching your back. Take a long inhale, exhale that left arm up until we stack, nice long spine, and drop those hips. Come back down to center. We'll go through that one more time. Back into that downward dog. Really let your body cool down here as you breathe through. So long inhale through your nose, big exhale again, pushing those heels down, feeling those hamstrings, get that stretch. Bring that right foot forward, right heel down, right shin is pretty much vertical. Untuck that left toe, plant the left arm, rotate the right arm up as you exhale, and drop those hips forward. Let's go back to center, back to that downward dog one more time. Hold for a little longer if you'd like. I'm gonna stay for about 10 seconds. Four, three, two, bring that left foot forward, using each breath to deepen that stretch. So we untuck the toe, long inhale through the nose, big exhale as you drop the hips. Again, big inhale, big exhale as we turn. And then coming back. It was a great workout today. You crushed it if you got all the way through. If you do need more Coach Jeff, you know where to go. Head over to my Facebook page or my YouTube channel, Metamorphic Methods. If you like this video, make sure you like it, comment if you want, and subscribe to my channel. You can also send this to anyone who you think might use it well, right? Someone who's looking for a good at-home workout. Have a great day today.